New at 11, a high school athlete is in the hospital tonight after a lacrosse game. It was not the sport that sidelined him. Instead, it was a rare condition that left him in a coma. Nine on your side's Kristen Swilly was at Lakota West tonight. She learned how a community is fighting to stay Stratman strong. After an impressive freshman year playing sports, including lacrosse and football, Matt Stratman was unstoppable. And it's that same can-do attitude his friends and teammates are counting on to help pull him through. He'd be sitting there with a big smile on his face, and you can't, you can't get away from it because it's, it just lights up the room. An energetic freshman who never stopped moving. Swim, ride bikes, usually anything that involves sports. That's how teammates describe Matt Stratman, and that's why what happened to him Saturday comes as such a shock. It was kind of chaotic to watch and be part of. So, I mean, we just got done finishing our alumni game, and, you know, Matt was feeling fine. He, you know, he said he was feeling hot, so we just assumed he was kind of having a heat issue. But his lacrosse coach says the teenager stopped breathing and had to be rushed to the hospital. I gave him a fist bump and a hug because we came down to visit for the alumni game. Gave him a hug and left, and hearing that, it's just like it just doesn't seem real that something this tragic happens to somebody so innocent. He was diagnosed with what's called an AVM, short for arteriovenous malformation. He's yet to regain consciousness. Everyone's shocked and worried, but I think it brings people all together. As news of his hospitalization spread, donations poured in. To hear that that happened to him, we we were pretty upset about it, and we were just hoping and praying for him. They say their teammate never gives up, and they don't plan to either. He's on my JV team. He's projected to go to the varsity squad next year, so you know, we're looking forward to having him back. You know, he's, he's a fighter. There is a GoFundMe page dedicated to helping to cover some of Stratman's medical expenses. You can find it using the hashtag StratmanStrong. I've also posted the link to my Facebook page, Kristen Swilly News. Reporting at Lakota West, Kristen Swilly, 9 on your side.